Welcome back to my channel once again. Life is wonderlust. So it's 6:15 in the morning. I'm walking towards the sunrise point. There stands the Ruler statue and the Vivekananda rock in between the ocean. You can see them. This is a path which will lead me to the sunrise view point. That end you can see there. So the whole path goes like this. It's completely built with huge rocks, big rocks as you can see here, stones. Uh, you have to watch your step, otherwise you're going to slip and fall. It's slightly slippery. So when you are walking here, always keep a watch where you keep your legs. photographers not giving me way so i have to come up by right a side it's not crowded much as i said you in the previous video itself that because of covid situations uh, i'm not able to see a lot of tourists in this place because normally when i come to kanyakumari it will be crowded it will be really crowded get to see a lot of people from different states coming here to see the sunrise and sunset and visit Vivekananda rock and the Thiruvalluvar statue and uh, the Bhagavati Amman temple here so it's one like a pilgrim place too because of the temple here and a uh, lot of other nearby places here uh, like Tirupura falls uh, which is like one and a half hours from here from Kanyakumari you can take a bus and uh, padmanabhapuram palace which is another one hour from here you can go there so there's a lot of tourist places to nearby as uh, kanyakumari itself is a very big place you can go around and the maximum time you require to go around kanyakumari is like morning sunrise and evening sunset in between that you can finish everything so yeah plan up your trip if you are uh, planning to visit kanyakumari So this is the end point. That's all it is. Here after you can't walk, so you have to sit and wait for the sun to come out. But it's not going to come out today because I mean it's going to come out today, but you, I can't see it because of the clouds. It's clearly covered, so there's no going to be a proper view of the sunrise. So the gates are open. They are allowing people inside. The Pumbuhar Shipping uh, Corporation. So this is the player place where you can get tickets for your ferry ride to Swami Vivekananda's uh, rock. So the ticket charges is around 50 rupees per person. So it just takes uh, I think so five minutes from here uh, to the rock. Let's get inside. I gave her a 500, she returns the money saying there's no change, uh, I don't know what to do now, I don't have any other change, uh, let me ask this person, and he too says no, and she says uh, you just need to wait for some time, finally that lady got some change and uh, she accepted my 500 and even I got some change now, so I can spend it out. This is the way again you have to walk. Uh, I 
imagine two circles right you can see people going like this and coming this way and if crowd is too much you need to sit on this uh, slab which they have made uh, for people to just sit and wait here they are letting us out where we can board the ferry this is the road uh, there's a clear view of Vivekan uh, and the rock and uh, Thiruvallur statue that's where I'm going to go now in the ferry and look at these rocks start walking yeah that's the way you can see the queue there and look at this ferry and this is not the ferry which i'm going to get inside it's too big look at the circles i think so this was put during the covid times for the social distancing everywhere you can see the circles and uh, there there is our ferry which is going to take us for a ride for a sea ride life jackets it's in a different form just a clip that's all and this is the ferry and I'm going to get inside now i need to pick up a right place to sit so that i can shoot the travel properly i got a window seat and the ferry is starting to vivekananda and i'm living you can see the gap between the land and the ferry so yeah hooray so i'm in the middle of the ocean moving slowly towards the rock uh they're not going fast they were going very slow so nobody will get uh, any kind of seasick because of the jerks and uh, nobody can vomit so it's good it's moving slowly I have to buy entrance ticket here and it will cost me 20 rupees good i have changed now that lady gave me change for 500 so let me go buy a ticket now right now i'm on vivekananda's uh memorial rock uh it was a small ferry drive as i showed you it was nice uh enjoyable uh the kids there was inside the ferry was really enjoying it and i'll show you the the memorial uh, of uh, swami vivekananda and that's it there's a big statue of swami vivekananda inside that memorial hall Uh, photography is not allowed inside so i won't be able to show you the statue uh, so let's see the stair entrance uh, there's no photography inside as i said you so i'm going to shut my uh, camera for some time 
when i come out again i'll uh, continue with it so i just came out as i said you they didn't allow me to shoot inside the hall and look at this breathtaking view you're right in the middle of the ocean selfie people and this is a sunrise calendar here it's not very clear i don't know whether you all can see it very clearly but they made a calendar of the sunrise sun time just uh, looks like a compass but i don't know what it does that's the meditation center here uh, people can go sit inside it's a silent room you can meditate Vivekan and the rock may be real is a momentum in Kanyakumari that's in this place uh, it was built in uh, 1970 in honor of swami vivekananda who uh, actually set to attain enlightenment on this rock according to the legends it was uh, this rock that even uh, goddess kanyakumari that is parvati performed tapas in devotion of lord shiva This is the place where uh, Parvati uh, sat for tapas exactly for Lord Shiva. Uh, again, video shooting is prohibited inside this place, so I couldn't show you that uh, rock. Actually, your uh, footprints are still on the rocks. When you come here, you shouldn't miss this. That is a way down to the ferry ride back to the land. I'm back on the land and now next I'm going to go have my breakfast and then to Gandhi Samadhi let's go and here I am near Gandhi Samadhi so let's go inside I think I need to buy a ticket for this so let's go check it out shooting is allowed here so lucky i'll show you all what's inside
so i'll translate whatever he is trying to say me in tamil so this is a stone he says uh, was kept here when uh, gandhi's ashes was what here and you can see that hole he says not even a drop of and it's open it's not covered with any glass or something like that it is opened and he says not even a, whatever the rainfall it may be not even one drop comes and falls on that stone it never falls on that stone and uh, exactly and and not even any sunshine falls on this stone there is no sunshine at all but on october 3rd that october 2nd that is gandhi jayanti's birthday uh timing between 12 to 1220 only that time if you come here you can see the sun shine on this stone yes only at that time it falls he says it's a miracle no other time you can see sunshine on this stone but except the time when gandhi was born on october 2nd if you are at the right time you can see that and that's triveni sangam uh that's a kind of uh, pilgrim place because of bay of bengal the arabian sea and the indian ocean meeting point and it's a kind of sacred bathing place in the southernmost tip of india and people come here to take dip i'll show you the dipping point and that's the place where people take a dip the triveni sangam the three seas uh that is again i'll repeat the bay of bengal arabian sea and the indian ocean meeting point and you can see people that taking a dip uh i didn't wanted to take a dip but i'm going to just put my leg inside and stand for a while here so refreshing you can see people uh, want want to collect water from this point at the triveni sangam so yeah so that's it so i'm going to get back now uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel once again please subscribe i'll see you all in the next video please take care goodbye Thank you.